In the previous video, we explored Arrhenius acids and bases. In this video, we're going to look at Bronsted and Lowry. Their model for acids and bases is a little bit broader. It's more inclusive. Bronsted and Lowry defined an acid as a substance that can donate a proton, and a base as a substance that can accept a proton. Okay, let's first of all make sure we know what a proton is. Remember the proton is located in the nucleus of an atom. It's got a positive charge. If you look at the periodic table, um, you discover that hydrogen has one proton and one electron. So actually, if, if, a, if hydrogen loses its electron, it becomes a hydrogen ion. And the only thing that's left, of course, if it loses its electron, is just its proton. So one way that we show a proton um, is like this, as the hydrogen ion. Now, it should be noted that the hydrogen ion doesn't really exist in solution. And in solution, of course, is where most of our acid-base reactions are taking place. The proton is positively charged and it's small. Because it's positively charged and small, it, it's able to approach the negative oxygen in water. And actually the water um, kind of grabs the hydrogen ion or the proton. So now instead of being H2O, it's H3O and has a positive charge. So when you see this, you should think hydrogen ion or proton. But what's really existing is this. And this is called the hydronium ion. So you kind of got to keep track of all of these different names for the same thing. So you, you might see or hear hydrogen ion. You might see or hear a proton. Or you might see or hear this, which is a hydronium ion. But it's all pretty much the same thing. OK, let's look at a reaction. If we put hydrochloric acid in water, well, you know this is an acid, and Bronsted and Lowry said that an acid will donate a proton. Donate means to give away. So HCl is going to give away a proton. If it gives away its proton, then what's left is, of course, just the chloride ion. And that proton that was given away had to go somewhere. And the H2O actually accepted the proton, and it turned into H3O. So if this H2O gained or accepted a proton, what's really happening then is this, this H2O is acting as a base because it accepted a proton. We're going to come back to that reaction, um, but let's look at one more. Now, we've already established that this is called ammonia, and it's a base. And you know that bases accept protons. So if ammonia accepts a proton, instead of being H sorry, instead of being NH3, it will be NH4. So where did it get that proton from? Well you probably guessed it got it from the water. So that means the water had to give up a proton. If H2O gives off one of its protons, it turns into OH. So you can see that um, NH3 does not release hydroxide ions, but it actually indirectly uh, manufactures them. So um, the Bronsted and Lowry model is more inclusive and includes bases like ammonia. OK, so in this first reaction, we labeled HCl as the acid. And we established that water was also the base because the water was accepting a proton and turning into H3O. Now, we also learned that last unit, um, rea reactions can be reversible, meaning they go left to right and right to left. So let's, um, let's flip this arrow around, and let's think about the reverse reaction. What is H3O doing? Well, it's turning into H2O. So that means it's donating or giving off a proton. That makes H3O an acid. We call that the conjugate acid. And then chloride, if we're looking at the reverse reaction, is turning into HCl. So it's accepting a proton. So chloride would be our conjugate base. Let's do the same thing 
um, for the reaction below. And notice I've written the arrows going in both directions, showing that there's an equilibrium that exists. So we have reactants and products. So in the forward direction, ammonia is a base because it's going to be gaining a proton. And water is an acid because it's going to be losing a proton. Now let's look at the reverse reaction. If we have NH4, that's going to be turning in to NH3. As NH4 turns into NH3, it has to give off or donate a proton, making NH4 the conjugate acid. And we have OH, and in the reverse reaction, that becomes H2O. So it's gained a proton, or accepted a proton, making it the conjugate base.